One of the things I like doing with my students is I like to share documents with them from OneDrive and then have them work on that document in real time. Everybody kind of basically knows that. Maybe not everybody, but certainly a lot of people are aware that you can do that. You can create a Word document within OneDrive, share that with your students, and they can collaborate on it together. What a lot of people don't know is that you can create a document and share it in review mode only. What that means is that students can't actually change and edit the document. All they can do is suggest changes through track changes and add comments. So what you end up with is you end up with a document where there are lots of different colors showing track changes and lots of comments on the side. And because the comment tool allows for people to reply, you can actually have an ongoing discussion, much like um, a discussion forum, on the right hand side or in the bubble area of a Word document. So let me show you an example and I'll show you how to create it. So I had a website where there was a bunch of content that I wanted to share with my uh, faculty members who were taking an online class with me. And I wanted them to discuss this document. And so I chose the review mode to share with them so that they could then suggest changes to the document. Maybe there are things that were more specific to our particular institution or things that they didn't quite like or things that they thought needed fixing. And then added comments, both positive and negative comments on the right hand side. And people then were able to reply to those. Um, the reason I was able to share, take this website and put it into Word documents is because it was a Creative Commons website. I made sure I referenced that possibly. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So here is the document here. I'm going to click on this. And once I pull it up, you'll see that it actually opens up in review mode. It says reviewing and it tells me that track changes is enabled. And if you look here, there are lots of places here where there are changes and there are lots of comments. So I just click on review mode. And so I've told my students, in this case, faculty members, click on the review mode and use their comment tool here or make the changes directly in here. So in here, uh, you can see the comments. You can go previous and next to see comments. Or you can also do this previous and next to be able to see what was changed. So for example, I do next. You can see it starts to move the cursor to the places where there were changes made. Uh, if I go next here, it pulls up the comments and it allows me to be able to see all the different comments. Now I can scroll as well. I can also click on the little bubbles to allow me to be able to see the comments that went with that. And you can see that there are a lot of comments This ended up being quite the conversation that happened on the right hand side of this particular document. Now I could turn those off and just see the document as it was a normal or I can leave it on. So this is a great tool for being able to kind of collaborate on a document making changes, but in this case, to discuss a document and what needs to be changed. So let me show you how that works. Uh, in, one, in OneDrive, all you do is click on New and Word Document. I'm in the folder where I wanted to create that, so that's what I'll do. So I go in here. Now remembering that whenever you create a new document in OneDrive, it's going to be called Document. I know, imaginative. Uh, so you'll want to change that. So you can actually click over here in, the, in the, this area and you can rename it. So um, I can go like that, hit enter. It's now renamed. And now what I want to do is I can put in my text if I want. So I could type up the document or paste in or whatever I wanted to do. But I'm just going to show you the imagine that I have the content in here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the share. So I click on the share button. And then I want to click on the area where it says people you specify can view because that's now I'm going to change who I want to have it. So what I'm going to do is in this case, I'm choosing my institution level people in my institution with the link. So that will include students. And then what I do is I click on allow editing, but I have to do one more step. And this is where it goes into review mode, because if I allow editing, that means they can actually delete stuff and take stuff out and put stuff into the document. And it would look like it was like normal. But I want review mode only so I can track those changes and see the comments only. So I click this little button here to make it blue. And now I have it available only in review mode. So I'm going to hit apply, copy link, and then copy this. Now, because I'm already the person in this document, I'm going to just show you how it would show up when someone gets here. So it would actually show up like this. And it would show in reviewing mode and it would tell them that the changes are on. So I'm going in here 
And I'm going to make one change. I'm going to say track changes for everyone. So that way it keeps track of everything for everybody. Now what happens? They land there. They're in reviewing mode. If they make changes to it, it tracks their changes. If they add comments, it shows the comments. And everybody can see all of that, whoever has access to that link. It's a great tool for being able to kind of develop a conversation around a document as opposed to posting a document and having them answer questions. They're actually inserting their comments directly into the document and adding changes where they think changes should be happening within the document. So I'm sure there are lots of ideas that you can come up with where this is helpful. Uh, you can put in, for example, if you were teaching an English language course, maybe, or, or any other language course, and you paste in your text where maybe there's some mistakes, and then you have them go in and make suggestions and changes, but you're still being able to see it because you can see the track changes. Uh, you can set up different ones for different groups, but that is how you to put your document into review mode and share it with your students.